Welcome to Hood Champion Boxing and Sports. In boxing, you find a way to win or you find a way to lose. Zuno Ramirez is going to defeat Bival. For those of you out there who don't want to give Zuno Ramirez his credit, I'm telling you right now, he is going to uh, defeat uh, Bival this weekend. So you might as well get ready um, to lose money if, in fact, you have betted on Bival to beat Zerto. Now, the thing is this, right? Bavala is coming off of you know, an impressive win against Canelo Alvarez because a lot of people um, who didn't know Bavala, they didn't give him a chance just because it was Canelo. Now, those of us who follow boxing, we knew Bavala was going to be a problem. Look at all of his amateur amateur wins. Look at his pedigree in the Olympics. You got to understand, this man's been undefeated for a while for a reason. Look at the fights he's been in. You know, it's... Um, He's, he's taking on everybody and giving everybody the business. He can be hurt. He can be hurt, but he finds a way to win. Um, and then you got to understand that weird European Vladimir uh, and Vitaly Klitschko style of boxing. Like, he's cut from their cloth. He comes from, from that pedigree of Russian boxing, that boxing system. Okay? And those guys put out killers. So Baval is an outstanding fighter. The problem he's going to face is this. Baval has IQ. Baval has a sound skill set. Baval has speed. Speed, he can control the range, distance. He has timing. Baval is just special. Problem is this. He was able to put that on full display against a guy like Saul Canelo Alvarez, who's smaller. He was able to put that on display against a guy like Joe Smith, just really, you know, outworking him. But with a guy like Zerto Ramirez, who's really a monster, okay? He's a monster. Zerto is the bigger man. Zerto has speed. He has intelligence. He has IQ. He can control the distance. He has timing. He has power, and he has a chin. All of those things that I just explained to you, right, those attributes... Those advantages he has, those are things that Canelo didn't quite have against Baval. Canelo just didn't seem to be able to put a dent in that man. Um, and Canelo looked to get tired. And Canelo, another thing, you know, he's not a guy who's up on his toes. He's flat-footed. Everything he tries to throw is power. But Canelo's defense is very good. He has very good defense. He has great eyes, great head movement, okay? But going into this fight, when you just look at it on paper... I just don't think uh, Baval is going to be able to escape the, Zemir, the, the Zerto Ramirez onslaught past eight rounds. I just don't see that happening. Now, I could be wrong, but then again, I, 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 I doubt it. Something else that people keep talking about, because there's a lot of people who felt Canelo Alvarez won the Baval fight. And I'd have to say to those people, you need to get to the optometrist immediately because Canelo did not win that fight. But the story is, Zerto Ramirez and Canelo Alvarez were sparring partners for a long time. For years, there were sparring partners out there in Mexico. And the story is, Zerto used to give Canelo the business. You look at Zerto in his fights here. He is no joke. There's something special about his hands. And the fact that he was giving Canelo the business when they used to be sparring partners, I'm not saying that's... I'm not saying that that carries a whole lot of weight, but it carries weight. Okay, when you can get in there and, does, and, and dominate Canelo Alvarez in sparring, that says a lot because we know what Canelo Alvarez does in the ring. And true indeed, sparring isn't a real fight, I get it. But we know when it comes to, 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 to these guys in sparring, well, they, they go at it. And the thing about Zero Ramirez, he's saying when he gets in there and after he defeats Baval, he doesn't have a problem with fighting um, fighting Canelo Alvarez. He's like, being Mexican means nothing. We've done a lot of sparring. And for those of you out there who, who, who forgot, that's the reason why Canelo doesn't want to fight Zerto. Because he knows Zerto was whipping his ass in those sparring matches. He doesn't want any parts of Zerto Ramirez. And you can't blame him. Because when Zerto was asked about, hey, what do you think about Canelo not wanting to fight you because you're Mexican? Hey, man, he said he just 
for him is just he he's he's befuddled. He can't understand why Canelo has that attitude. He said he thinks the best have to fight the best. And he says and after I beat Bavall, he said he doesn't care if he's fighting a Chinese or a Mexican. We're fighters, that's what we do. And he said he'll fight anyone. And he says when it comes to boxing, he's just looking to put on a war for the fans. And he says, uh, there's nothing more exciting than having Mexicans fight each other. <coughs> Excuse me. Two Mexicans in the ring. So we'll, we'll, we'll see just how that plays out. But my understanding is him and uh, Canelo Alvarez used to spar a whole lot when they were in Guadalajara. And um, what's his name? Ramirez. Zerto Ramirez used to be the middleweight. He was a middleweight at the time, and he said it was a great experience for both of them. Uh, and then now he just moved on up to light heavyweight. But he, the, the, rumors, the rumors are that he used to beat Canelo in sparring consistently. So <clears throat> right now, man, everybody seems to be happy. You know, De La Hoya, Golden Boy, um, and uh, they're, they're all happy right now to have Zerto in there uh, with... Bavall because they feel that Zerto can pick up that WBA title. And I think for Golden Boy, they need to get a win like that. Because I don't care what Oscar De La Hoya says, says Golden Boy is worth a billion dollars. Some investor offered him a billion. Oh, he's made over $800 million in boxing. I don't care what De La Hoya says. De La Hoya needs some wins over there. I think, I think uh, Golden Boy isn't doing as good as what it was doing years ago when he did have a pretty robust stable, uh, a pretty diverse, diversely robust stable of fighters. Now he's <clears throat> he's fallen off. He's lot of, lost a lot of fighters. He's lost Schaefer. He still has his guy over there. Uh, what's his name? Gomez or whatever. The kid, he, the guy he grew up with. He's still over there trying to help out and keep the com company afloat. But we are going to see what is going to happen if. Zerto gets through Bavall, which I think he will. They're talking about trying to make Zerto and uh, Canelo, but Canelo already said he doesn't want to do it. And in addition to that, I don't think I don't think Canelo wants to deal with De La Hoya. So the, right now, 44 and 0 with 29 knockouts. Hey man, that's something to be to look at. You know, that's that's a pretty big deal. That's a great record for Zerto Ramirez, man. You know, 44 wins and 29 wins by knockout. I mean, he's got some pop. So we'll we'll see what happens. But I just don't think Saul wants to deal with De La Hoya anymore. I just don't think he wants to deal with that. I think he's tired of that. And um, and if they were to fight, <clears throat> we know 175, Canelo fighting somebody in their prime and who he spar with and has a good idea of what they bring to the table. I'm not saying he's afraid to do it. I just think he's not looking for those kind of risks. I think Bavall is probably an easier fight for him because Bavall doesn't hit as hard. But we'll find out this weekend what the real deal is. I just want to put that on your radar. I'm going to go with Zerto to beat Bavall, and then Canelo's not going to want anything to do with Zerto, and it has nothing to do because he's a fellow Mexican, because Zerto used to give him the business when they used to spar. And that's what's really going on. So that being said, man, y'all keep cool, but those are my reasons why, you know, I assure the win for uh for Zerto because when it comes to Zerto he can box he can bang he has power and a chin recipe for disaster for Bavall he's gonna have he's gonna catch his ass I just really think he's gonna have a tough time in this fight and I don't think he'll go past eight rounds that being said shout out to people from all seven continents shout out to all veterans y'all keep cool and I'm in the breeze